Yeah. Are you sure he's right? It's like nobody's. Stop it, please. Go. Right. Somebody's coming here. Somebody's coming here. Yeah. Um, I, I came to see Dave. Yes, sir. Yeah, this dead lives here on my train tomorrow. He lives here. I've been here yes. so many times. Jamie. Yeah. Um, nobody's called for you. Yes, sir. He lives here, number 21. I've been here so many times now. Um, yeah, I told you. Please, 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 Sorry, sorry. I have been here so many times. Hey, inside the house, had drinks, had food, everything. Mother, are you sure of what you're saying? Do you know where, where, where you've been to? Or? Is she a baby? What are you saying? What kind of question is she? Is she a baby? Is she a child? Then she said that her boyfriend is here. So pull it out. So the police. Is he here? I'm sure he's here. Please. He's here now. If you don't mind, I'm busy inside. You can excuse me, please. Okay, okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry, don't be offended, please. I came to see him because he, he, he borrowed 2.5 million naira from me and he's paid back 500,000. He's remaining 2 million. Since then, his number has been off. Sometimes he doesn't pick his call. Then he's not here. You guys can, you can go to this somewhere else. Maybe the next conference or MCS. Yes, please, please, what are you talking about? Is she a baby? Hello? She knows what she's Hello. talking about. I've been, I've been keeping calm here. Don't touch me again. You guys should leave this place now. Plus, we are not going there anywhere. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Call him out. He's a liar. Yeah. He's a thief. Call him out. Well, are you sick? I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it. Just leave me out there. You're a criminal. How are you sure that he can just put out the truth back here? I'm scared to bring that money. I'm scared to bring that money. I'm scared to bring that money. Are you sure that you're not part of it? Are you sure? I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Don't worry, I know what to do. I'm here for you. I think oh. I know what to do. Let me call Denzel. Yes, call him, call him. Denzel. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that's a good idea. Hello? I'm sure he can help. Of course he will. Mm. Hello, Denzel, where are you? Something just happened now. Yes. Yes, we need to see you. Come over to uh, 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 let Amanda's me, house. Yeah, my place, yeah. Yes. Of course. Someone duped her of 2.5 million. We need to arrest him. Hurry up. Thank you. Is he coming? Of course. He's oh, coming. thank you, Lillian. God bless. Thank you. I promise to get that lunatic. Okay? 
And I will make sure I recover all the money he stole from me. Thank you. Okay? Okay, okay. So you should just come down. Okay? Uh, uh, I swear he was okay now. I think. Mean, uh, Amanda. Huh? Amanda. I will deal with that lunatic. I will tell him there's bullets in my gun. You know I'm so much into you. <laughs> That's why uh, I invite you here. So I have a uh, table for two. Uh, that's so kind of you. Let's have a toast. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Dance, um, I'm just thinking, um, what are your plans for life? Um, I know your business is doing great and all that, but I hope it's still coming out well. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, I've been pushing it. Working hard um, so I can love. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> you know I appreciate you. Yeah, and all the love you've been showering on me. <laughs> I don't know. How am I going to pay you back all this favor? You know what? I think I owe you one. Okay? Maybe you should come over to my house for lunch or breakfast or dinner, whatever you're comfortable with. Is that okay? <laughs> Let me make you some nice homemade dishes. Um, I think um, that question is um, if we are going to your house this night. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So we're going to your house. Okay. Tiana's place. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you. You like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Everything Tiana is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby. You know I got you, yeah? You know oh, I got you. Oh, would well, that be nice to have you inside? Mm. Don't worry, next time, okay? Next okay, time I'll go. Thank you, baby. Okay. Okay. You have a good day. Okay? You too. Mm. Okay. Then. okay. Come over tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, dear. Yeah. Sure, go ahead and sign it up. They are signed. Hey, baby. Hey, please here. My baby came over. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Wow, you look great. Why you look so sexy with this Why are you coming to my office this afternoon looking so sexy? Yeah, I'll just come around to see your beautiful face. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're so beautiful with this dress. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. So what are you doing today? Busy as usual. <laughs> Give me your hand. Hmm? Busy as usual. As usual. Yeah. Making the money, yeah? Of course. <laughs> Just a little stress relief seeing you. Are you coming over to my place tonight? Of course. You don't need to ask, baby. Do you want me to pack up now? Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> I know you're busy, but if you have time, let's go. That tempts me. You are so tempting, baby. You are so tempting. Amanda. Yes, ma'am. You are my lovely daughter. And you also know I love you so much. Let me tell you, mommy. Amanda, you know you're not getting younger. As a concerned mother, I want to know. I want you to tell me the truth. Do you have any serious man in your life right now? <laughs> Mommy, what about those ones you sent away? You practically embarrassed them. Amanda, those ones that look like, ra like rascals, with tattoos all over their body that look so irresponsible? What I mean, a real man, I'm talking about a well-grown man that is from a very good background. Someone that can stand like a man. And for someone that will marry my daughter and take good care of you. <laughs> Mommy, what are you talking about? Eh? We have all this. This is my house. Imagine your own house and how gorgeous and how massive it is and everything. What more do you want, Mommy? We have enough money to take care of us and the next generation and the next three generations. That's what the, more do you want? That generation is what I'm talking about. I want a man that will give me responsible grandchildren. And those ones? Can they be productive? They can't get me pregnant or what? What, what, what are you saying? I, I really don't understand it. I should get children from rascals. I should get grandchildren from irresponsible men. <sighs> I give up. I give up, mommy. I give up on your nagging. I can see that this social media thing is disturbing so much. I will allow you to finish up with them. When you are done, you and I will have a good conversation. Better. And when you are ready, you better find me a good man. That perfect one. The ideal man. Your spare. Is your mother at home? My mom? Yeah. Of course, she's home. What's the problem? What's the problem? Babe, you know I love you so much. Of course, and I love you too. Um, you know the last time I came here with my little gift? Yeah? You know your mom insulted me badly. Oh, that. I don't think I, I really want to see, I really want to see her again. Oh, stop it, baby. Come on, it's my home, okay? Come in. Don't bother about my mom. She's lived her life. We have to live our own life. Come in, baby. Are you sure about that? You're safe, trust me. I'm in charge. Come on. My house is your house, you know. Come on, darling. Hey, we have 
<laughs> what a surprise. Thank you. I'm great. You look great. Thank you, man. You too, okay? Fine. It's a Hi. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> um, my angel. I know it's your lunch break, so I decided to stop by so I can take you out. Oh, thank you, Ami. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> what a surprise, I was just wondering. Thank you. You know you're my you know you you're, you're my sweetheart. Sure. Just give me five minutes, let me round off with the email I'll send in. Take your time, take your yeah. time. You know. Our clients, they don't take things easy until things are done. Yeah, so you just stayed there, thought about me, and came over. You are so lovely. <laughs> uh, baby, listen, uh, let me tell you. Yeah. You know, um, the king where they find party rice, no, they fear dance. So I'm equal to the task. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You, you're my clients. Yeah, baby. Uh, done. You know me, you know I must finish my business before I step out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Babe, I've been calling your number since yesterday, but you're not picking up. I was even worried about you. I have to call Lillian here. Mm. What is the problem? You're not smiling at all. Your face is not looking bright to me. No, I'm sorry, I'm doing great. It's just work and a whole lot of things to do. Nothing. I'm good. Are you sure? Nothing. And your face is like that. Come on, talk to us. To us. Nick, talk to us. We are your friends. We are here to listen to you, okay? I don't really know how to say this. Because I'm really, really embarrassed. <laughs> What happened? I actually lent money to Denzel. Five million naira. I... It's not as if I just gave him money to go and spend or enjoy, but his mom had his mom had kidney failure and um, he, he, he needed help and she was going under dialysis so he asked if I could lend him that money and he would pay back with interest so that was so I thought that... Amanda what is wrong with you are you out of your mind after what happened to you the last time you still had the mind to give a man five million naira but, but, hey. No, but she's saying it's because of the mother's uh, kidney problem. So it's not actually bad to help. Let's hope he pays back, you know? You know kidney failure is a serious, is a serious thing. Yeah. If I, I don't do that, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll regret it or I'll be... I don't know. I don't know how I feel if the mother, you know, bent up down and also. So what? So what? To tell you the truth, girl. You have been duped. Yes! That guy has duped you. Lillian, you cannot be so sure. I actually lent him that money with the hope that he's going to pay back the loan. And since then, he's not been picking my calls. He's not been taking messages or replying messages. It's not, it's not, it wasn't even in his house. I went to his house, his gate was locked. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Amanda, I will sit here and watch you. Of course! Can you give a man five million naira? You want me to keep quiet? Yeah, yeah Amanda, I said I've heard it. Let's watch and see. <laughs> five million naira to the man. That's my boyfriend. Not your just boyfriend, he's after your money, my friend. Use your head. Lillian, it's okay. Stop it's... it, it's okay. Uh -huh. How can you be this? What is this? A lot of two For what? A deal that I planned by myself? And they are giving me 200,000 naira. What for? It's all right. I will meet up with them. It's just that. No, I can't take payment for this. Pay not. 
I know, Lillian. I understand what you're saying too. Emeka is very handsome, tall, well built, with nice matches, six pack, and all that. But to be honest, I am not emotionally attracted to him. Are you serious? Yeah. Amanda, what are you saying? This young man is handsome. He has everything. Of course. So what? Grab him. Take him to the tight corner and make him yours. This guy loves men hard combine. Okay? You know what I'm talking about? I'm not interested, baby. I'm not. You're not interested? Yeah, I just like him as a friend. Look at him, you see here, you're such a pain. That's why you, you made sure that you gave him my number. Stop it. Oh, well, the young man is hard. Uh, have you forgotten his American citizen? He's not a wretched man. And he so can still pick up. And so what? Me, am I not a British citizen, right? So what do I need his American citizenship for? I don't need that. I don't even need a visa to anywhere in the world either, okay? Amanda, come on. Just look at me you're smiling. Are you sure you're not hiding anything from me? Of course. Yeah. It's like you're in love with this guy that we're talking about now. You're just pretending for nothing. Good. <laughs> Stop it. I've told you, I like him as a friend, but nothing more. Please. Okay, fine. Fine. But one thing is certain. I don't want to drag my space with anybody. You see the cheap bread smooth? It's me. I don't want to drag with anybody. It's our kill. <laughs> because now I've prepared my heels. I can't wait to walk on my heels. I'm going to give up on you. <laughs> No get part two, we no get fast two, fast two, fast two. Now for TV, they happen where a person go die and live to enjoy another day. So, Emeka, so, I decided to invite you over because I'm a little bit curious on why you've been calling desperately to see me. Oh, the pleasure is mine. Actually, if I forget, God, you're a gift. Wow, thank you. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> you know, since then, ever since that, I've not stopped thinking about you. I've been thinking so much about you. Thank you. I so, love gold and silver, yeah. actually. Amanda, I really want to spend the rest of my life with you. When I said I want to marry you, I mean every bit of my word. Very serious, Amanda. I love you. If I then in this school, I wish to be with you. Please don't say no to me. Will you marry me? Please, Amanda. I won't stay long, okay? okay. I'll stay only two weeks. And um, depending on how the situation is, it's our comeback. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you love business. No, <laughs> make sure you don't eat too much. I will not. Nobody As you're said saying now. When I was there, you were there saying something else. <laughs> Be a good girl for me. Let's go do my boss. I miss you. I know. <laughs> Thanks for coming over, Amy. Yeah. It's so good to have you here in our house. All right. I really missed you, so I mm -hmm. decided to come to check on you. Yeah, so spend some time with you. I missed you too, baby. <laughs> it's good on. What's that? What's the problem? Let me get something out Oh! I know this new book. Your American passport. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, a lot of my friends were born in the States. And okay. Yeah. 
Yes, this blue man is red as a British citizen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm telling you, you know, when we have our kids, um, sorry, after our wedding, when we go have our kids in the US. Sure, I know that. And then our kids will be British, American, Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> World class citizens. I know. Amazing, amazing. Really can't wait, honey. Yeah, sure, I can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. So I'm 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 beginning to ask. I'm wondering, um, what kind of wedding do you want us to have? Oh, that's a beautiful question, baby. Okay. Um I have this dream wedding okay. that's going to be in a castle way bigger and taller than the roof of this building. And then you're going to be in a nice tuxedo suit and I'll wear a beautiful vintage dress. And <laughs> should I let me just hold on. I don't want to talk too much. You tell me, what's your fantasy? Actually, I don't have. Whatever that is okay with you is okay with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, baby. Oh. You are so sweet. <laughs> Oh, it's been very hectic, quite yeah, busy. Yeah. Actually, I was getting already bored. I was already getting bored before you came in. Oh, <laughs> I guess you missed me. Of course, I missed you. You know, you know on my way coming here, I got you a gift. I still got you lot. Oh, oh, for me? Wow, thank you. Yes, I'm actually very hungry. <laughs> Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. No, it's mine. Let me look at it. Oh, I hope you like this. Ooh, it's so cool. You like mm, it? Of course. You know, I love <laughs> shoes. Wow. I check the bag as well. Oh. I hope you like them. Even more. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm. You are so sweet, baby. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. How do I pay you back all this way? I'm a little bit worried about your mood these days. Hmm? You're not really happy and as excited as you used to be. What's the problem? What's bothering you? No, oh, that will be fine. Sure? Yeah. No, talk to me, baby. Something is not right. It's okay if you insist on it. It's about my goals. I got a call from the custom two weeks ago. They told me my goals worth of 16 million was seized. Now they're asking me if I can raise 14 million to that they can release the goals for me. I managed to come up with 10 million. I don't know where to get the remaining ones. Hmm. Okay, okay, baby. <sighs> This is a tough one. All right, I know what we can do, okay? We'll get that sorted, don't worry, okay? Um, let me see if I can raise like eight to 10 million Naira. Would that be okay? Yeah, let's just get it sorted and then... This is a serious issue. Stop raising my hope high, okay? Come on, baby. Don't worry, okay? Your money is my money. My money is your money, okay? We're working as a family. Let's just get this sorted and everything will be fine. I don't want you to stress too much. We have our wedding on the way. We need to be happy and cool together, okay? You may you give me the money? It's our money, not the money. I love you, father, too. <laughs> love you too, baby. Cheer up, okay? Thanks, darling, for dropping me over for work. I feel so good to be driven. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing. So we shouldn't mention anything for you, my baby. You know, besides, very soon we're getting married. Sure. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be my chauffeur for life? <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Okay. That's great. Oh, you know what? Um, I need to rush to off. I need to check on my goods. 
Oh, baby, I just wish you could work with me every day. We'll just share the same office and live our life together. But very soon, I know. <laughs> <laughs> just promise me after our wedding, we'll have to be working from the same office. Of course, of course. Sure? Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah, I know. You love your importation business. <laughs> Importer. I miss you, baby. I miss it so, darling. You no, know take care of yourself. Me and too. make sure you have something to eat, okay? Okay, baby. Catch up with you later. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I'll see you later. Oh, Love baby. You. Oh, my baby, I miss you. I don't want to work today. <laughs> okay, baby. Time to work. Now you're the boss. Every single morning. Let's go. Expect me. Why you can't even call your friend on phone to know how she's faring? It's oh, not fair. Come on, girl. It's not a fight. Do you know how busy I could get? You know, running this office is a <laughs> big job. A whole company to myself. What can I do? It's quite um, hectic sometimes. You know that already. So me, I don't have a job, right? I don't have what I'm doing. Oh, come on. It's not fair. Don't do that. Okay. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> Let's I forget. How is that your new boyfriend? What's that his name? Mm. Emeka. How is he from? Oh, you mean my ex fiance? Yes. Emeka. Forget him. That's old story. That's completely past. Past Emeka? How? It is a long story. Emeka actually belongs to the past. Yes. Do you know someone I call my fiance? He asked to take a loan of 8 million naira from me. And I helped out because he came up with this story that his container was seized and the customs needed this and that and millions. And what would I do? We were planning to get married now. Eight million naira, Amanda. How? Why? Why not? It's too much. No, come on, baby. Don't forget that this guy was planning to get married to me. Everything was fixed. The wedding dates, wedding gowns, suit, everything went planned out. So why would I help him? I had to help. I told you. Times without number, not to be desperate for men. It is marriage things, like as if you're rushing it. Take it easy, slow down on this. So what's desperate about this? What's desperate? You know what I'm talking about. Baby, we're already engaged. Why won't I help him out? Because my money is his money, his money is mine. So in my head, I was trying to see how we can sort his own business so by the time the container comes out and everything is sold and we make some profits. To get married, sweetheart, eight million naira is too much. It's like you're rushing this marriage thing. Take it easy. God will definitely give you your own man right time. I've told you before. Focus on God. He will give you the right man for you. And when he comes, oh no. Oh, 
Really? Yes. Good girl. Preacher. Focus on God. You that's been focusing on God. Why are you not married by now? Why? Oh, you're giving it back to me, right? Oh, right, stay there now. You're going to get old soon. Stay there. Uh huh. Okay, is that what you're saying? Don't worry. When I'll give you my invitation card, it will be a shock. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Amanda, he is a pastor I told you about. My little tiny Abel pastor. Bless you, bless you. You have a wonderful mom. Um, Thank you. Amanda, my dear, God is really using this man of God. Hmm? He has used him to perform so many miracles. He has delivered so many people, including me. Yeah, of course, okay. he is a great pastor. <laughs> um, welcome, pastor. Thank you to relax, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can I hear someone shout a big amen? Amen. Um, the other day, when I was passing by, I was passing across the street when I met her, when I saw her. And then the spirit revealed to me, actually I saw her and I saw another darkness standing at her back. I asked my spirit, I said, what kind of revelation is this? He said, this lady will take you to another lady that you are going to deliver. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen, Pastor. When I moved deep into meditation, she is your friend. Sure. My best friend. My best friend. I can see. Ah, uh, there is this darkness hovering around you. Each time man crosses your way. Firstly, they will see you, admire you, but in the next second, they will start running away from you. Oh, yeah. All right, Pastor. Hallelujah. Am I complicated? Yes, Pastor. Oh, yes, Amen, Pastor. Yes. You're right. That's my life. Before I go on with the message, because God brought me here to her to deliver you. Amen. 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 Can, uh, can someone quickly get me a book of Isaiah? Isaiah 43, uh, 42, verse 16. Very 42, verse 16. verse 16. Okay, Pastor, I will read. Yeah. And I will bring the blind by the way. Sorry, sorry. Ooh, and I will bring a. Sorry, Pastor. Yeah, and I will yeah. bring the blind by the way that he knew not. And I will make the blind ones walk in a way that they have never known. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Go and on. I will lead them in a path that they have not known. In a road way that they have never known throughout their life. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I will make darkness light before them. Hallelujah. Amen. I am going to make. God is not saying something to somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he is going to make the darkness. Whatever darkness hovering over your life, your business, whatever you are passing through, God is telling you something right away that He is going to make you to turn into life. Yes. Amen. So much of a big amen. Amen. God said in Isaiah 42, verse 16, that I am going to make you walk away. You know not. God is saying that that darkness. That darkness is going to turn it. He's going to make it to be light in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. Actually, I am not going to go deeper into this. I am just giving you this message. But once I'm done with you, the light of God will shine on you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me chew the juice. Water. Let me just hand them my uh, Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Get out! Hey, 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 you! Join me. Leave the house, ma'am. Hallelujah, so much. Ma'am, let's get out. Thank you. Hallelujah. Pastor, 
just don't wear what? Can I can I really take it away from you? No, no, no. Like I said earlier, the darkness is still a family. You want to tell me that that naive young man is a man of God? Yes. <laughs> no. Something tells me that, that this is not right. That something is not right about this whole drama. You say something is not right about him, may I ask? Please, what's not right about him? Everything. Nothing is right about a young man. Anyway, I... I... Oh. Uh, yes, you can as well go back to your house, Mama. Please, when I go back to your own home, please, I need to know. This is my house. Tomorrow morning. Thank you. It's actually your story and your life, not mine. And my house, my life, my choices. Thank you. I'm your mother. And I'm an adult. Enjoy life. Brothers, you see. If you know, enjoy them. Well, you see. Life will not get bad too. It will not get fast too. Fast too. Now for TV, they happen where a person go die. And live to enjoy another day. So don't make we enjoy our life now. <laughs> Hello? Uh, please, uh, after a long deliberation, I, what you are asking is too much. I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. Thou shalt not use the name of thy Lord in vain. Uh -uh. You are proposing what? Mba. Sorry. I cannot do it. Adam, how can I, how can I trace this church? Uh, these, these people, I'm hearing their voice now. I'm hearing their voices. What's the name? How can I get into the church? I just need to see the, the resident uh, pastor. Let me know if I can work with them. You know why you get me big bread you know, with pure water? If you know Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. There is something I want you to understand. When God says that today is your day, the day He's going to lift you up, nothing shall stop it. Amen. Not even that man from your village. Amen. Not even that oracle. Amen. Not even that witch that we we we. Nobody has the right to stop it. Right now, there is something, my brothers, there's something I want us to do. I want you to open your mouth and confess. Because the Bible says, according to Matthew 7, 7, that say ye, or sing in your ass and it shall be given. Open your mouth now. Open your mouth now. Pray so that the blessings will fall upon you. Because I was led to pray for you people. I was called to pray for these people right away now. And I am saying, Pastor! Pray! 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 Hallelujah, Sinker! Make a bobo bo Pastor, good afternoon! Good afternoon, how are you? Fine! So you're preaching under the sun. What happened? Don't you have a church? Um, my dear sister, let me tell you the truth. According to the book of uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, verse 20, it says that the spirit of the skies, they have their own home, they have their houses. Then the animals in the bush, they have their own house, but son of man do not have his own house. In oh. fact, as a matter of fact, 
I have no hope. Uh, it is where it is <laughs> where it you. is where I pass. So, okay, I need to go home now and um, I'll see you some other time, okay? Uh, um, Keep up the work. Uh, this thing, there's something very important I would like us to, you know, to talk about. Mm. In fact, actually, I got a revelation. God revealed something about you, which mm. I, I would like us to discuss. But okay. that will be tomorrow, not now, because as you can see, the uh, Spirit of God led me to pray for this. Oh, people. I see. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay, okay, Pastor. Uh, tomorrow works for me, actually. Okay, what time? Um, Test me when you'll be less busy, so okay, that I can Pastor. come over. Okay, Pastor. Uh, Keep up the work of be God. Blessed. Be blessed. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Meanwhile, let me continue. Yes, sir. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing will stop blessings of God to come up. Amen. And there is something I want to make. I want to understand. This month will be a great month for all of us. Amen. This month will be a month of elevation. Amen. God will catapult you and transport you to where your enemy will see you. Amen. And there will be a place. Pastor, I'm just going to let you off here. I'm sure you can get a good bike back home. Okay, hope you enjoyed the lunch. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Honestly, I really enjoyed that food. My pleasure, my pleasure. You are too wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For your encouragement. Excuse me, let me take care. Let's go. Hello, uh, Judy. Uh, Kem Lee. Kevin. Were you able to to secure the proposal? Ah, again, again. You know this is the third time now they are turning down that that, that loan uh, proposal. Anyway, don't worry. God, God will still do His own thing at His own time. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No. 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 Remember what the Bible said. That his plans for us is for good. To give us an expected end. Don't worry, we must build church for God. Don't, know, we don't need to uh, stress yourself. It's okay. No, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, we will see. Probably this evening. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Is this everything all right? At all time, we must give glory to God. Actually, actually, uh, actually, as a human being, I, I, I'm supposed to. Um, I wrote a, a proposal to one microfinance. I, I'm requesting for a loan, but okay. but, but they kept turning it down. So what we what will son of man do? Loan for what? I actually, you know, I don't have my own church, yeah, yeah. and all this while I'll be moving from one place to another. So I, I dreamt putting up a little structure where me and my members would be worshipping yeah. the Lord. You and us. <laughs> and <laughs> you and <your> us. <laughs> okay. And yeah. so, so how much are we talking about, if you don't mind? Can you share with me? Sister Amanda, uh, actually, the, the, amount, the amount actually is a huge amount of money, which I intended paying back instrumentally. Okay. That's after putting up the church. Mm, okay, how uh, much specifically? Just give me a figure. Okay, let's say neighborhood of um, 15 to 20 million. 15 to 20 million. 15 to 20 million. Um, 15 to 20 million. Um, okay, um, let me see what I can do. What if we start with like 5 million Naira, get the land first, start the foundation, and we take it from there and hope on God? Oh, Sister Amanda, you have been too good, not only to me, but to, to my ministry. Huh? You are too supportive. I, I, I honestly, I, I, I don't wish to stress you more than this. No, I'm not stressed. I'm not bothered. It's my pleasure. It's the work of God. God has used you to deliver me from darkness. Oh, Sister Amanda, as you keep cultivating on God's vineyard, 
God will continue multiplying your blessings. Amen. Your going out and coming in shall be blessed. Amen. Bible said according to the psalm that he will set, he will prepare you before your enemies. Amen. And they will never notice your movement. Amen. You will be going and God will also be leading you. Amen. Oh, Rika in the rear. God will continue prospering you. Amen. 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 Have a safe journey. Hey, I don't know if I'm begging for too much. If I can get a little money for Kada. Oh, Kada. don't even say. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I was actually thinking of um giving you something to pay for car. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me that. Okay, it's not a lot, just 20,000 naira. Thank just you. manage, okay? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you. God, you are fulfilling your promises. You it's see? Not a lot. Let me put it here, you know, <laughs> tight, tight money. <laughs> tight so money. Funny. It's okay, thank you. Um. <sighs> okay, Pastor, I've actually sent extra 3 million naira. Coupled with the five million naira sent already, okay, and I hope that goes a long way in doing the job. Another three million. Yes, Pastor. Oh, Lambrahush. Mm. Oh, sister Amanda, you have done marvelously well. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh. oh, honestly speaking, imagine extra three million. Plus the five. It's nothing. It's nothing. I could do more over time. Let us pray God for His grace. God will continue as you are blessing me. So shall. Yes. As you are blessing me, so shall the heaven open their blessings upon you. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. Bless Thank you. you. I'm just curious what level is the building project now? Is it up to DPC level? Okay, the level, uh, actually, the, okay, the level, uh, as a matter of fact, I've, I'm done with the foundation. Oh, okay, all the columns. The columns, now yeah. we are putting the rod. Oh, rod. oh okay, okay. Trying to erect oh, okay. the, main, the main structure. The block work, okay, <laughs> so you've done the DPC, yeah. and the columns and everything else. Exactly. You are saying as if you know more about building construction. I actually know because that's the business my dad was doing before he passed really? away. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, I knew a lot about it. That would be great. That would be great. And I'm also curious about the total square meter of the entire uh, space. Total square meter. Yeah. Actually, you know, I'm just a man of God. You know, some people. Actually, you know, that part where you're going now is someone's responsibility. I can't tell you the square <laughs> because it's not my responsibility. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> if we are talking about the Bible now, I can actually explain Genesis from 1 down. Yeah. Understand? For instance, now the Genesis chapter 1, God made heaven and earth for us to enjoy. Understand? Yeah. That's the only thing. Okay, okay. Never mind. Anyway, your shirt is very nice. That looks new. Nice one. We are serving a living God. <laughs> I myself am serving a living God. Anyway, it's like I have to be on my way now. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, I think um, I might stop over next week just to see what the project looks like. And I'll be very, very busy. That's why I haven't bothered to come. Okay. Hope you don't mind. That would be wonderful. Uh, maybe off a week. Depends okay. on when I'm free. Opa. You know, like as you said, the upper, that upper, I can go with the upper. Oh, no. Let it be upper. So that by that, as you are coming, I will, I will also be on the upper. That's the, the position will not be upper. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm trying to roof now. Oh. Uh, the sun oh. upper, so I will be on the upper. I want to surprise you. Wow, that's so don't, great. Don't come this week. Come the upper week. Okay. okay <laughs> it's, it's okay. That would be great. Um, actually, may the peace of the Lord be with you from now and always. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands on will be multiplying. Amen. Oh, Amen, yes, Pastor. Amen. God bless you. Let me quickly be on my way. Okay. So that I can me. do justice to the point. Of course. Do not be discouraged. I will be okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me be on my way. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen
You know the thing about being in love is that it shows all over you. Yeah, I can see you're glowing and I'm so happy for you too, my friend. Aww. You know what? John is a godsend to me. Hmm? That guy is so caring. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to say this. He actually paid for my house rent. Wow. Of course. That's impressive. Telling you. Oh, I'm so happy for you, girl. So why wouldn't I love him? Why wouldn't I love him? Please do. <laughs> you need to love him with all your heart. Thank you, darling. Mama, how far with the pastor? How has the prayer session been going on? Pastor Chede. Oh, God. Lillian, I just have to come and thank you specially. I have to bless God for the day you introduced that man to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lillian. Everything about my life has changed. I told you. I'm telling you. Thank I... you so much for that introduction. Thank you. I told you that God is really using him to perform miracles yeah, in people's know. life. Yeah. I am a living testimony. You get you know the thing about sowing in God's vineyard is when you sow in his vineyard, he sows in yours as well. You know, Pastor Chidi is so happy. He said that God has been great to him. People have been contributing money from here and there. And the church building project has been moving so fast. He's wow. so happy. Yeah. Uh, I think you should come over next week. Let's go and see, you know, the progress. Of course I yeah. want you. Wow. Church project. Yeah. Really? As I, as I was saying, just that if you can remember vividly that I came to your place, yes, yeah. what I told you, yeah. that I was on a dry fasting and prayer. Oh, I remember, I remember, yeah. And that my dry fasting and prayer was for God to, in his uh, infinite mercy, to show to me. Because according to the Bible, he promised to give us a helper. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You know that this work I'm doing, this work, I cannot do it alone. I need a helper. Yeah, sure. I need somebody by my side. Of course. And you <laughs> said that he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. From the start, hallelujah, yeah, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yes, according to that, um, that portion of the Bible, I prayed so that God will separate Paul from Barnabas. Yeah. Because um, from the, the happenings now, we need to be careful. Yeah. So while I was in prayer, or in prayer mood, God actually answered my prayer. Wow. God answered my prayer. Wow, I mean. Yes, so. But I, it, it was somehow hard to believe. So when I was praying and meditating, I saw your face. God showed you to me. And God said, pointing finger that this is your wife. I said, no, God, this is the same sister Amanda, the lady I came to liberate and also to deliver from the shackles of death. God said, no. I said, no. God said, no. I said, no. God said, no, that I should go and talk to you first. Remember, he said that, who are we to question him? I said, okay, then I must come to you and at least to, to speak with you. But before then, <laughs> before that, I want you to do something for me. Please, Sister Amanda, I'm not joking. I am not joking. You need to pray and fast. As you are praying, pray that nobody, not even a man, not even a spirit, I will divert the blessings of God that is about to strike you. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, because I went for let me let me go, let me just let me just go straight to the point. How will you feel to be the wife of a pastor?
what's all this now? What's all this? What's going on? God, what, what could I have done differently? I don't know. <laughs> Is that I see? I don't know. They don't just steal my money. They steal my heart. They steal everything. I run away. Oh God! I don't know. Could it be that maybe my character is bad? No, no. But I know I'm a good person. Yeah, I'm a wife material. That I know for sure. What else? What? Even Pastor. Pastor. Pastor Chile that I trusted so much as my mentor, my spiritual leader, everything. Still had the balls to propose to me. Me, Amanda. Would it be I'm getting desperate or what? Maybe Pastor was right. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have any spiritual problem or anything. Something is not right. Okay. Okay. No. My, my mom, my mom is on my case. Constant nagging to get married. I don't know what to do again. I don't know what. To... Lord, have mercy. I have been calling your line, but you've not been picking my calls. What is going on? I don't understand anymore. Oh, Sister Lilia, nothing is happening. Yes. Uh, the truth is that um, your friend, Sister Amanda, has not been picking her calls. Really? And I, I can't tell why. Whoa. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I will go over to her, to her house and find out what her problem is. Maybe. Okay? Maybe. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get back to you. All right? All okay. right? I also promise um, if she picks, finally, if I, if I manage to get her online, I, I, I will. I will call you back, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, because I've been worried. I was wondering why you, you've not been picking my calls. Nothing. nothing. Uh -huh. I hope you're fine. I'm, of, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm all right. Uh, you know, this is our work. Uh, uh, we don't have office, we don't have business of our own. <laughs> our job is to preach to people the good news. Yeah. We are evangelists. I understand. Yes. I don't know if you have little money with you. Just a little money like 1,000. It will help to a long way. 1,000. 1,000? Just 1,000. You know, remember the, what the Bible says, that uh, it's, bet, it's better to give than to receive. And whoever that works on God's fire, Hey, Chineke will be working on her or his. That, that, that is true. Right? Uh, uh, it's just 1,000. Uh, 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 pastor just managed 250 naira, at least to, to go along with to get you a bike, isn't it? <laughs> God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. Bless you. <laughs> All right, just take care, Pastor. I'm trying to look for the shortcut. No, it should be from this side. <laughs> Pastor, you're very funny. Thank you. up to you and the pastor. I, I saw him the other day and he was complaining bitterly that you have not been picking his calls. What is uh, going on? That one, Pastor Chide, <laughs> very, very annoying. That man really pissed me off, honestly. 
Do you know that man has the ball to walk into my house and propose to me? Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, there's a very long story. After I gave him 8 million naira for the church building project. First, he came with the, you know, all this talk of taking loan from the bank and all of that, that he got stuck. So I gave him 5 million naira. Then he came back again. Okay, oh, the church members are a little bit poor. Nobody was bringing anything. He needed more money. For me, it's the work of God. It's the best I could do. He actually helped me pray a lot, like, you know. So I said, okay, let me give him another 3 million naira. That's a total of what? 8 million, Eight million naira. 8 million what? Amanda? Yeah. Do you know he actually proposed to me? Yeah, he had the balls to walk into my house and propose to me. And Lillian, to be honest, I found that very, very annoying. And you know what I did? I just stopped picking his calls from that moment. And he saw me yesterday, requesting for 1,000 naira. Of course! For real? Oh my God! I mean, that man is a crook! 419! Oh! And I ended up giving him 250 naira. He accepted. 250 naira. Oh, damn. He's so petty. No wonder he's always asking for something to eat. Anyway, the thing is that from that day he proposed to me, you know what I did? I stopped picking his call because in my head, he's my mentor. And then suddenly he, he came up with all that proposal stuff. And to be honest, I respected him so much, but uh, not, 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 not for him, not for him, a husband. Listen, I don't want trouble, okay? All I need is my own share of the money. 40%. Of course, I'm not asking for too much. Don't threaten me because I will fuck you up. If you try me, I will tell you why they call me Kenzo. Mm -hmm. Listen, stop shouting at me like that because I'm not your girlfriend. Okay? Yes. If they've collected money and they've not given you, so chill us. You need to chill. Remember, I brought this day. Yes, I gave you this contact. So give me my own share of the money. Yes, if you brought the business, uh -huh, what is it? <gasps> All right. I've heard you. But remember, you. This is the last one that I'm giving you. I'm warning you. Excuse me? I'm warning you. I will fuck you up, fool. I've heard you. Bye bye. Get out of my phone. I should get out of your phone. Are you mad? Wait till the word you are, you stupid. Which one is that you mad? 50 naira yeah. from, from Opanam to this place. Oh, your money is not 50. Bro, bro, calm down. That's what to pay. It's 50. I can't pay what I'm 50. Calm down yo. where? I mean, where? Come, where are you going to? Come, give me, come, come. See, bro, see, if you touch me again, eh, what I'll do to you, you will not like are you me. Come, are you, are you, are you pointing at me? I was clapped. See, bro, see, if you touch me again, I won't do. I won't mind yourself. Come on, see, I used to be. See, bro, see, I will see, if I see that, I will just put it in the middle of the room. I'm not going to do this, but just give me a bit now. 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 Come on, give me a bit now. Give me a bit now. I used to be. I will slap you. Don't do that. Come on, give me a bit now. Are you mad? Come on, give me a bit now. 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 Give me I'll kill you. 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 I'
I'll stop you. I'll stop you. Give my money. Give my money. You pay for this man. Give me. I'm telling you. Give my money. So what do you want? Madam, tell him to kindly be quiet. No, no, but actually pay me my bag. Bag, bag, Listen, go on, bag, go over there, you won't Oh my God. You I'm get... not done with you yet. You if talk I... too much. I said, what do you want? Madam, be specific. My bag, let him pay for it. You want your bag or you want, my, you want your bag taken care of? Yes, ma. Okay, so how much do you want? It's 2,000. 2,000 Naira. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you 5,000 Naira. Is that okay? Five what? What's your business? Don't you pay for it. Tell you pay for it. Yes. Shut up. Epica, be quiet. Okay, go in there. That's my office. Go in there, wait for me. I'll give you 5,000 Naira cash, okay? Yeah. Does that make you happy? Thank you, Okay, ma. then. Thank you. Epica, oh, oh. Oh. You guys are crazy. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where did be that? Get back here, right? But I don't say do that. I don't do that. You and the woman don't say that. You guys are crazy. Hey, Buka. Come, go, go, come. Just get back in your ride. Drive in. I'll meet you. Is that your car? Never mind. I'll meet you in the office. Okay? Okay? Wow. Get in touch with you for the past one week. You've not been taking my calls. I don't understand anymore. Pardon me, Lillian. Work has been very hectic as usual. Besides, I've been trying to help you book get a job. Sorry, I'm, I'm lost here. Which Ebuka are you talking about? Ebuka now, don't you remember him? No. Ebuka that used to be our course rep in the university. Oh my goodness, the fair guy. Yeah, the very oh. brilliant one. And where did we meet him? Ah, oh, this story is funny. I was driving into my office. Okay. Just to drive in, this KK guy was right in front of me and I nearly hit him. I mean, practically, he was blocking my way in. Then I came down to harass him. Only to see that it was Ibuka. <laughs> what oh. a small world. Oh my God. Ibuka. Yeah. A KK guy. Ah, oh, sorry, what a small world. Yeah. Uh, yeah but, girl. You're talking about securing a job for him. How? I, I, I don't understand. Why not? You remember Ibuka used to be a first-class material back then. And I felt so sorry for him when I saw that he was doing that menial job. Mm. Yeah, so I'm talking to everybody I know, just in case they have something for him. And me also, I'm trying to see what I can work out in my office. And if you have something for him, why not? You can uh -huh. help. Uh -oh. Okay, so have you gotten any? You ask a lot of questions. I just said I'm trying to get a job for Ebuka. You're still asking me if yeah, I found I'm, one. Don't, I'm so sorry, okay? All right, right now I'm hungry. I need to eat. Do you have anything at home? You're always hungry. Food. You are always hungry. You need to <laughs> shed some weight. <laughs> no, baby, please. I need some food, please. Okay, Ebuka. Welcome to my humble abode. Just my tiny little house where I manage life. <laughs> Did you just say tiny little house? This is not tiny, let alone be little. <laughs> this house is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, it's sit nice. down. Make yourself comfortable. Let me get you something to drink. It's very nice. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Let me get you something to drink. Thank um, you. Lest I forget, you said you're looking for a job, right? Yes. Are you actually looking for a job or you're comfortable with your KK business, you know, cashing out on daily basis? Amanda, how can I be more comfortable with KK? A graduate like me? Well, you know, I can't just put my arms and uh, be waiting for when that big one will come. I just have to start from somewhere. 
in Nigeria, if you're not well connected, it's nothing for you. You know, no matter the grade, no matter your uh, whatever thing you graduated out of the school with, you must have something different. Uh, sure, sure. Anyway, never mind. Now you are connected. <laughs> now that you met Amanda, so I think. Um, let me see what I can do. I might help you get something. I'm not sure. I'm not promising, but just send me your CV. Email it to me. I'll check within my own organization if something could come out. If it doesn't, I will check with my friends or oh, whichever way will get you fixed. Somewhere, just somewhere. Brenda? I, are you saying you will get me a job with my certificate? Why not? Why not? If we can listen. No, get out, get out, get out. Don't do that. Sit down. You're my friend. God bless you. Thank you. You don't know what the meaning of this thing you're doing. I have been searching for a job. I searched for a job for years and when I couldn't get anyone, I just have to settle with the keke. Though I, I thank God I'm still making a living out of it, but it's not really what I want. I, I can't I can use it to help my family and other people that, that I need to help. I know, I know, Ebuka. You know, the thing is, when we were in school, you were one of the most brilliant around. You were first class students. So I'm not even happy that you're doing that, but surely, we'll, you know, we'll find something to fix you on. Life is not easy. I understand that. But it's also good that you started, you know, little by little. So sit down, relax, make yourself comfortable, like I said. Let me get you something to drink, okay? Thank you. Would you like much. to have um, something to go with you, maybe like rice and chicken <laughs> and just some food? Amanda, I don't think there's anything you give me now that can be compared with this job. I know. But anything you give me now, I'm okay. I know you're okay. Thank I'll you very much. Back. Thank you. Okay, I'll do that. Thank okay? you very much. Go <laughs> bless you. God. <laughs> Ebuka, I have a good news for you. Congratulations. You've been offered a job at Jago Company as their new secretary. Amanda, are you telling me that you've gotten a job for me? Sure. In fact, not just a job, but a secretary of a big company. Yeah. You deserve better than that, you know that. No, I just want you to start there. God, I thank you. Me. It's okay, get oh. off. God, I thank you. Amanda, get Amanda, God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much. You, in fact, you are the best. That's fine, that's you, fine. You no mean, I, I will not you. longer write Keke. No. I will be. A worker in a big company yeah. with my certificate. Sure, get up, baby girl. That's fine. You deserve better than that, okay? God get will up. bless you. Amen. You get up, get up, get up, baby girl. Just oh. all I want to say is don't let me down, okay? Be a good boy. Character matters. Character is everything, okay? Be honest, be diligent. Amanda, I will not let you down. That's fine. I, I, I promise. <laughs> I... That's fine. That's fine. Come in. Come in for a drink. Come in. Oh. <laughs> so that was what happened anyway. We made some money, a couple of millions here and there, but not so much. <laughs> really? Yeah. Baby girl. <laughs> this one that you're smiling. It's like you're expecting someone. Yeah, so, someone, but not what you think. Not what you think. Come in. The door is open. <laughs> oh my god! Ibuka! Look at Ibuka of yesterday! Of course. Ibuka, what are you doing here? <sighs> I told you it has changed. <laughs> is that not Lillian? How are you? I'm oh, fine. You look more good. Beautiful. Sorry. Oh, oh, wow. You are such a gentleman. <laughs> Come on, Lillian. 
After Sit school, down. I've not seen you. Oh, God, I'm looking around. You're looking more cute. Thank you. And my cute. You too. <laughs> <laughs> my, my beautiful bestie. <laughs> Anyway, you guys seem to have a lot of catching up to do. While you do that, let me get you something to eat and drink. You know I love to host. Exactly. I haven't sipped it, so you can start with that. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what are you doing here? I said, what are you doing? I don't care what you're talking about, okay? I don't think, I don't, I don't care. Alright? My patient is running off. No, 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 you can't say that. I cannot do it. It's not possible. Do you know how many years I've searched for John? Good six years. And God has brought Amanda to help me out from this joblessness, from this taken thing. Yeah. I'm be driving KK. It's not possible now. Don't force me to do something stupid to you. I can't betray her. I cannot. I gave you this deal. Then deliver it. Listen. Others, others did it without complaining. So why are you complaining now? Yes, I know we, it, it was a deal, but I, I am backing out of it. I am backing off. I can't do it anymore. I, I, in fact, Right now, with this job, I am not in for such life again. Yes. A Amanda is a nice person. I, I can't betray her. Is that what you're saying? Wait, are you trying to fool me here? Eh? Let me tell you. If you delay my job, believe you me, you won't like what I will do to you. No, for real. Seriously, you can't threaten me. You cannot threaten me. You cannot. No, you listen. Listen to me. I think you should listen to me. I cannot betray her. You won't like what I would do to you. Get it. Now get out of my phone. Five days. I give you just four. Just take it from me that I said, Ebuka, I will not do it. Oh, mommy, when you come back, I have a special news for you. Something special, something you want to hear. <laughs> no, mommy, I'm not telling you. When you come back, I'll tell you. Of course, it has to be a face to face conversation. Two weeks? No problem. Mommy, I'll wait. You said two weeks, right? I will wait. Yeah. <laughs> I can wait. Yes, mommy. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Love you, mommy. Mm -hmm. Bye. Seriously, I'm not happy. I don't understand you. No, so I don't know why she's doing this. I... Why is she doing this to me? Everyone in my family, my dad, my mom, my uncles, everyone wants you. They love you. They want you to move in with me. And, and your mom is stopping it. She's denying me to come and do the right thing. I want to come and pay your bride. Price. And why is she saying no? Why? Honey, I don't really know. I'm tired of that topic. Each time I call my mom, she's either she says my uncle's traveled or the person that's supposed to, you know, take the bride price on behalf of my dad is busy or this or that. There's always one excuse to annoy. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. I don't even have to call my uncles by myself. I just don't know. And she knows I'm pregnant. Honey, you know why I'm bothered, right? You're pregnant for me. And you cannot give birth in your mother's place. You can't go there. You, you have to conceive in my own home, in my own family. I, 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 can't, I can't just... I can't just... 
Well, hold on to this anymore. I, I am, I'm tired. I know, honey. I'm tired as well. In short, I'm getting embarrassed about this. Do you think I'm happy being pregnant and still being in my mother's house? I, I think... I'm sorry to say this, Anna. She doesn't like it. In fact, I believe there's another guy in the moment. Oh, uh, come on, no, no, baby. No, 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 it's true, it's true. She has another person. There's someone else she wants you to marry. That's, that's the whole thing. That's the truth. <laughs> No, no, I'm saying it Stop because it, 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 I don't think she 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 will love me and she she will keep on denying me of doing the right thing as a mother. In fact, I was expecting her to be the one to 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 tell me what are you waiting for? Is my girl not pregnant for you? Why why haven't you come and pay the whole thing? I and. Maybe stop it, okay? Just stop it. I think you're being a joke now. You know quite well that my mother is very fond of you. You know that already. She loves you. Of all the men I've come across, you are the only one my mother really loves and can't wait to have you as a son-in-law. You know that. Stop being a joke. Come on. Anyway, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to say, but I think my mom and my uncles are actually trying to be sure that you are serious about being my husband. Serious? Of course, I have to shake you. <laughs> What's the matter with that princess? You know I love you so much. Listen, I cannot just wait to have you in my bed every day of my life. As in, sleep in your arms, wake up in your arms, everything we do it together in my own home. That's what I want. I know, baby. And I just want to wake up every day on your shoulders and nowhere else. Do you know what it means for me to be looking into these eyes every day of my life? and show you how much I love you, not just seeing it with my mouth. Do you know what that means? Do you know the joy, the happiness, the strength it will give to me while going to the office in the morning? Do you know? I know, baby. That's fine. You know what? You came here to come and have lunch with the princess. I have my laptop pack. Everything is ready to be done for today, okay? Let's go have lunch. Let's go, let's go. Cheer up. <laughs> Come on, baby. Thank you, Thanks. Thanks for inviting me, Mama. Sorry. I was really, really curious to know why you invited me here after all that fight. Well, um, with what uh, with what uh, Nemeka and um, Dave told me about you, you were a nice lady. So I decided to make you get free from some bad people around you. Who are? Lillian is not your friend. Who? Lillian. Which Lillian? My friend? My best friend? <coughs> okay. Let me tell you. Lillian is not your friend. Lillian is a bad influence to you. Um, all the people that have been duping you is because of you. The pastor, the Mecca, the man, we. They are all causing of your friend Lillian. I can prove it anytime, any day. Just call on me. Oh, sweetheart. Yes, baby. Thank you. Thank you. At work? Stand with Lillian. I think it was so. No, that's what happened. Then if you see what happened, I told you what they got. Also, what happened to this man? Those ladies who told their money come to the house. They came really? to the house. Uh, uh, when they are rounding, do you know the worst part of it? What's if that? you see the car and they will kill the smooth. That's why they're so cool. Uh -huh. But guy, 
say no company. I don't understand. But yeah. The woman say you buy 3.5 million for her hand. And you bring comfortable now 1.5. No way for you if you see you. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. Took me for you. I know if you go. So, don't cast. Oh. America will go. You are not the possible matter. You understand? When America will go, they will bring something loud. I can prove it any time, any day. Just call on me. Hey. Give a man five million naira. Hey! I asked to take a loan of eight million naira from me. Okay, Pastor, I've actually sent extra three million naira. I know it's your lunch break, so I decided to stop by so I can take you out. Mm, okay, how much specifically? Just give me a figure. Okay, let's say neighborhood of um, 15 to 20 million. 15 to 20 million. 15 to 20 million. You have been duped. Yes! That guy has tricked you. Okay. And if you said you can prove this, Pets I'm going to get it. Don't tell me that. I can only smile when I give my phone. Of course. Let me call you back. Wow, girl. Amanda, what's the meaning of this? Why are you showing me off? Lillian? You. So you have been the menace behind my life all this while. Excuse me? Yes. Sorry, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Huh? Lillian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I trusted you like a sister. You are the only sister I never had. My best friend, my confidant, my everything. And Lillian will betray me. Why? You're not so, so sorry, I'm lost here. What are you trying to say that I betrayed you? How? How? Lillian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you planted all these men in my life to do me. You planted them to scam me, break my heart, steal from me, borrow money from me, and never return it. You even planted Pastor Chidi. Why? Me? Why such a scam? Oh, God. What are you? Are you, trying to, are you trying to insult me or what? No, are you trying to insult me in my own house? Eh? Listen. Listen. Don't come to my house and lay filthy accusation of me. Listen, I can't take it from you. Okay? What's the meaning of this? You know you don't need to scam me to get what you want from me. You know that, Lillian? I've helped you a lot like a sister. I could have still helped you even more. Listen, I mean, I don't know who is painting you black and blue in your presence. Okay? What? What kind of lie is this? How can I be she my own best friend? Hey, hey! Don't touch me. Don't lay your filthy hands on me, Lillian. You stink! I'm so disappointed. I trusted you with my life. You could have still killed me. But thank God you never had a chance uh, to do that. Listen, Amanda, I, I, listen, I can't take this from you. No. I'm fed up with this. And I'm fed up with you as well. I am done with you. Since you don't know what I'm talking about, just give me a second. Kenzo! Kenzo? And who is Kenzo? You! Oh! Kenzo, so you have been the one pencil in black and blue in the presence of my girlfriend. Ha! See, I, I, I don't know what this riffraff is doing in my house. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know how, what is going on? What is going on? If I were you, I would tell her the truth. What's truth? What truth is he talking about? I'm not having no sense. This guy, this guy is trying to break us apart. I don't want to lose you. You're very, very important to me. Hey! You know what? You've gone to the end of the road. And I'm done with you. This is it. 
goodbye and good luck. <laughs> no, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna wait. What? I'm gonna... Hey! I don't know. What is your problem? What are you doing in my house? Do you know what you've done? Do you know? Who Amanda is to me? She is my sponsor. This is where I fit from. Without this lady, I am gone. I am nobody. I swear to God, listen. Just listen and listen, God. If I lose this girl, I swear to God, who made me and you, I will kill you. I swear to God, I will kill you. You know, I told you I will fuck you up. Oh. And that's it. Again, please. You, you know I care about you a lot. You know I'm your best friend. Just, just forget about what happened. It won't happen again. Never. I swear. I swear with, I swear with my life. Amanda, please, please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me, Amanda. Amanda, please. I am begging you. Just look into my heart. I'm a changed person. I have changed. Please. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say. Please, just tell me what to do. And I will do it. Get out of my office. Out! Amanda. Amanda. Ay, God. Ay, God. I said out! Baby. 
Seriously. It's your mom. Your mom and your people. Today your uncle this, tomorrow your uncle that. He traveled to this country. He's not back from this country. I'm tired of this whole story now. I'm tired. Let them allow us to marry you. Your mom has the power. She can do this. She can convince everybody in that family to, to, to take this thing from me. I, I can't I can't continue like this. When you look at you, look at you, I want to stay with you. Look at where we are sitting here in a bar. I want you to be like this in my house. Sleep and wake up on my arms. I want to be in your arms every day of my life. That's what I want. It will give me a lot of joy. It will give me a lot of happiness. Please, convince your mother. Come on, baby. It's not my mommy's fault. She's been trying so hard to convince my uncles. You know the truth. You know how our tradition runs. My uncle, he's supposed to take my bride prize. He's not in town. He traveled overseas for quite a while now. And I think something came up. He couldn't come back as early as planned. And to be honest, my mom cannot do anything about it. She can't do any more than she's done. You know how the tradition is. My mom cannot take my bride prize. My, my, my daddy's brothers have to do that, baby. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Do you want more? Actually. Yeah, sorry, mom. Yeah, I love you so much. I love you too, baby. Baby, please, can we stop all this talk about my mom and all this people and focus on us? It's, I'm getting tired. I'm already six months gone. Please. Baby, baby. <laughs> Hi. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Look at our son. He's handsome. This is my common picture. Your own. He's not your son. Stop saying that. Mama, look at look at his face. It's just like my own. When I was a kid. Mama, you played too much. Mama, look at his face now. Mommy, mommy wants the baby to look like her. Okay, he looks like a grandma. No, I am not. I'm not playing, no. Let me make it clear. I am not playing. This is not your son. In our culture, in our custom and tradition, you don't marry a woman when she's pregnant. It's, it's, it's an abomination in our culture. You can't say it's your son. This son is uh, my own son. If you pay her, you come now and pay her bride price. The other children that you people will have together, those ones will be your son. But this one is my son. Oh, Mama, um, <laughs> if I should listen to you very well, what you're trying to say, um, I have not spent the bride price. Huh. But I could remember telling you that I want to come with my people to come and do the right thing. You said, no, I should wait till she puts to bed. And now she has put to bed a baby bouncing boy. That, that's my carbon picture. Are you telling me that it's not my no, son? Okay, we are saying, I'm not saying another thing. I say in our custom and tradition, it's an abomination for a man to marry a woman when she's pregnant. So you can't come now and say it's your son. Well, you have not uh, paid her down. See? Okay, ma, is that where you're coming from? But I, I remember telling you several times that I want to be my people. You said no. She not do that. So I don't she know was why. pregnant when you were saying that. That's why I kept quiet. And now that she has given birth, you cannot go and bring your people and come and marry her. See, in our tradition, according to our customs, any child that she gives birth eh, is for the family. Now, if you bring your people and pay her bread price, any other, uh, the children you people make together, those ones can answer your name. But this one you're seeing now is uh, for this family, according to our custom and tradition. That's how it has been from my great grandfather's till now. Uh -huh. So both of you can discuss that. Shall I tell your people that I'm ready now? 
Welcome. Tell them to come. I'm ready. Yeah. 